while the all-new 60-inch wide 2017 Polaris Ace 900 XC has taken over as the single-seat king of wider trails. The original 48-inch wide chassis used on the Ace 325, 570, 900 and 2017 Ace 500 make them rollers of tight woods and narrower ATV trails. If you're looking for ways to improve your McPherson strut equipped Ace for the rigors of aggressive off-road driving or racing, we at UTV On Demand teamed up with Texera Tech to build a better performing and more durable Ace. For this project, we're building up a 2015 Ace 570 SP, but the modifications and upgrades we've selected should have similar benefits on the other before mentioned models. With a Generation 1 Ace chassis designed a bit more for recreation than high performance, our first goal was to increase durability for aggressive driving. A Texera Tech roll cage adds strength and rigidity to the chassis. Rather than using mild steel, Texera Tech's cage is constructed of 4130 chromoly, adding strength without adding unnecessary weight. Texera Tech offers an accessory roof for their cage to help keep you out of the sun. It hangs down in the front to help keep the sun out of your eyes. Driving hard for the cameras, we unfortunately put Texeratex cage to a small test, tipping it over in a tight off-camber turn and slamming the cage into the berm. The cage and car held up fine, with the exception of a few bumps and bruises to the bodywork and a broken accessory light. Lacking the strength and rigidity of a dual A-arm front end, Texeratex developed a few key front end parts with racers from Team UXC Factory Polaris. First, Texeratex front A-arm brace is designed to reduce unwanted flex and reinforce the A-arm's mounting points. Texeratex Extreme Ground Clearance A-arms feature large diameter tubing to increase rigidity. Their TIG welded 4130 chromoly construction is designed to add strength without adding unnecessary weight. Their width and geometry are kept stock, so they don't require aftermarket shocks, nor do they affect drivetrain reliability. The wider usable ground clearance provided by Texera's XGCA arms helps you more easily clear trail obstacles. While they don't impact handling, the McPherson strut front end has proven to be a weak link in rough G and CC races. We drove our ace hard for several days with no front end issues to report. For aggressive sport driving, Texera Tex A arms and A arm brace are worthwhile upgrades. The way we drive, we consider them mandatory. To improve ride quality, a set of Walker Evans shocks and struts were installed. As stock replacements, suspension travel numbers remain unchanged, although they feature a number of improvements. The 2 inch bodies feature larger 5 8 inch shafts rear and 3 quarter inch shafts front. Internal reservoirs front and external remote reservoirs rear improve cooling. The rear reservoirs allow for the addition of external compression damping adjustment. Their less expensive, non-reservoir equipped versions feature spring preload adjustability only. Small bump absorption was improved, although the shock's greatest asset was their ability to filter jarring impacts from square edged bumps and holes in the trail. The reduction from jarring impacts was also noticeable on landings. We were driving off a two and a half foot ledge onto flat ground at high speed with a plush touchdown, no bounce or bottoming sensation. While performance in high-speed chop is improved, push it too hard in deep whoops and you quickly reach the limits of the chassis. Still, the difference in ride quality is pretty dramatic. We were going faster and doing things that we never would have tried with the stock shocks. The Walker Evans suspension made a bigger difference in performance than any other single product on this project, and we'd consider it the starting point in improving performance for racers and recreational drivers alike. Switching from a 25 to a 26 inch tire allows the Ace to roll more smoothly through bumps while improving ground clearance. Maxxis Bighorn 2.0 tires are some of the lightest all condition radial tires on the market, making them a very good option for smaller displacement or single cylinder engine machines. We use 26 912 tires all the way around. The rear tire's 1 inch narrower width reduces weight and narrows the tire's contact patch. This helps reduce rolling resistance for quicker acceleration and helps reduce traction to touch, making power slides a little easier and more predictable with the car's narrow chassis. Max's 2.0 tires provide good acceleration, braking, and directional control in the sometimes sandy, sometimes rocky trails found out west. 
but they really shine in the sometimes rock hard, sometimes muddy trails found in the woods back east. Obviously, the taller tires raise the machine a bit. While the walk rev and shocks do a good job of keeping body roll in check, the car's higher center of gravity requires you to use a bit more caution setting up for corners. If your primary concern is stability, you may want to stick with a 25-inch version. With the 26-inch Bighorn 2.0s measuring in closer to 2 inches taller than stock, we installed an EPI Sport Utility Clutch Kit, calibrated for 27 to 28-inch tires. The kit uses stiffer primary and secondary springs. It raises the clutch engagement point between 4 and 600 RPMs, allowing the engine to build more horsepower and torque on takeoff. It's also designed to let the engine build more RPMs before upshifting and backshift more quickly for times when you're off, then right back on the gas. EPI says their heavier weights allow the engine to build an extra 1 to 200 RPMs on top, while their tapered shape is said to enhance responsiveness. To boost power, we installed a big gun power box fuel module and their Evo U-Series exhaust. We went with the slip-on version to save a little cash while still enjoying a majority of the horsepower gains. The exhaust also shaves a few pounds off the car. The Evo U is designed more with horsepower in mind than sound suppression, although it comes with Big Gun's Vortex Quiet Insert and a spark arrester. Dialing in the power box, it was obvious that the exhaust flowed far better than stock. With convenient onboard tuning, we wound up maxing out the controller's three-quarter to full throttle setting. The more fuel we added, the more power it seemed to produce. Without spending a ton of money, we were very happy with the added performance EPI and Big Gun provided. We ran taller tires and still felt like we gained performance over stock. The clutch's quicker, higher RPM engagement makes the engine feel snappy and responsive when you hit the gas. The clutch did a great job of backshifting quickly, keeping the engine in the heart of the power, getting you in and out of turns as quickly as possible. EPI's clutch kit eliminates engine braking on the SP model. While this is a bummer for casual drivers, it's nice for times when you need to coast through rough sections without loading up the front suspension, something racers will appreciate. If you plan on adding taller tires to your ace, we consider EPI's clutch kit a must. If you like the sound of a four-stroke with that big old-school thump, you'll like the Evo U exhaust. The 570 pulled with some authority at low to intermediate speeds as well as the big gun outfitted ace pulled with taller tires, corner exit speeds were certainly improved. While we didn't do a top speed run before and after, we strongly suspect that the car picked up a few miles per hour on top. With its compact chassis, even with suspension upgrades, there was still plenty of engine performance on tap to get you in over your head, requiring you to know when to back out and when to stay in it, as Cody quickly learned, pinning it to avoid disaster. Texeratex cage and an S-Star 4-point harness help protect the driver in the event of a rollover. Polaris accessory lower door extensions help keep flying mud and debris out of the cockpit. Polaris low-profile front and rear bumpers are constructed of large diameter steel tubing and look stout. For pure racing applications, we'd opt for the added protection of Polaris XC bumpers, but for a go-fast trail buggy, these bumpers add protection without adding as much weight. It didn't take a ton of parts, money, or time to greatly improve the performance of the Polaris Ace for the trail. All of the products used in this project met or exceeded our expectations, making our 48-inch wide Ace better in almost every way. For a full list of the parts, prices, and links to the manufacturers used on this project, visit our website. We'd love to hear from you, so leave your questions or comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to keep up with all of UTV On Demand's latest content.